Oh, uh, Bru. Yes. Uh, since I've seen like the Tokyo Ghoul anime, I've seen the first season, and you've started reading it, right? Yeah. You know what I feel about it. So, what are your initial thoughts? Because people love Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> initial thoughts. <laughs> it doesn't seem too bad. At least what I've read so mm-hmm. far. It's mm-hmm. it's starting to give out an interesting take. Actually, what I've noticed is that is right. Uh, the newer manga and anime are a lot more sympathetic towards the villain than the older ones are. It's uh, kind of like it's kind of like uh, you know with Endgame and uh, Infinity War how people uh, felt like Thanos was relatable because they felt like he made a fair point. It's kind of like mm. it's kind of like anime villains are becoming mm-hmm. more uh, relatable and more likable than they were in previous giving uh, manga and anime that, that I've is, seen more sympathetic. Yeah, that is true. That yeah. is hap- but uh, as far as I've seen Tokyo Ghoul doesn't really have a villain yet per se. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? It doesn't have a villain because they they're always talking up like even now I've been I'm like I'm like some 12 chapters or something into it and it's already like you How know, many? 12 or something and oh 12 okay yeah 12 or 15 or something like that but uh, basically it's already mm-hmm. starting to build up this neither side is right uh, both sides have faults both sides have monsters type of uh, storyline yeah that's true which <laughs> it just feels like an industry shift when it comes to manga and anime because we no longer have like straightforward villains which which i kind of miss a little bit yeah, to be honest yeah you do No, the thing is, even before when they were like, if we are talking, we are only talking about anime and manga, right? Like yeah, yeah. anime specific, or um, let's take both. Yeah, yeah like, only both. in that world, I think even previously there, there are character. I would say there are still villains. Uh, there are villains, of course, who are evil for the sake of being evil. You know, like the hero's journey can't they just make them in most? But there are also villains that. they don't say outright that they are uh, that they that they are like good but if you understand if you look into them you will like okay they're not really evil it's just their perspective any like examples but like like nagato for example no but right. like you said See, thanos the thing with the thing was uh, thing with <clears throat> naruto villains in particular is that half of them were converted by naruto's talk talk no jutsu so It's yeah, not, exactly. it's not particularly like that. Like they have a point of view mm-hmm. that is, uh, you know, that is that 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 is like relatable. It's just that they are evil, and then Naruto is like, hey, maybe don't be evil. Like you know, maybe try that, and they're like, oh, <laughs> I can try that. Damn, I never thought of that. And they're like, yeah, I'll try. I'll be good now. But if you look at someone like yeah, but uh, they weren't be evil because they thought they were be evil, right? Because he thought, oh, this is my no, way. No, all of the Naruto villains definitely knew right. they were evil. They definitely knew what no, they were doing was wrong. No, all of them. No, but uh, this thing. But he thought it's his way to make things right. Right now, Gato. That's why. Yeah, he but he still it. knew it. What he's he was like, doing was oh, wrong. Fix it. He just had a god mm. complex, and he and knew he's that. Like, oh no, you can fix it the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like all of Naruto's villains are extremely <laughs> self-aware. Okay, I'll give them that. Kishimoto made <laughs> extremely <laughs> self-aware villains. Like Naruto's like, hey yeah, Nagato, exactly. you know you're doing like bad mm-hmm. shit, right? And Nagato's like, yeah, so of course I'm doing bad shit, dude. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? And Naruto's like, shit, what am I doing? <laughs> and then he talks him out of it. But if you look at like Madara and Kagoya and all that, they they just they just don't give a shit. They're just like, I will. Oh yeah, they don't give a over. shit. No, they definitely don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. if you know, they definitely don't give a shit. Like this is another discussion we've had before, which is like in Avatar: The Last Airbender, you have Ozai who literally just wants to rule the world. And then you have yeah, you have does, freaking does, Korra where each and every one is like oh I stand for the unity of the people like that's cool okay I'm not saying it's like a bad thing that your villain is uh, more complex and can be more. this thing to the viewers mm-hmm. god damn it what happened to the good old villains who are just villains for the sake of being villains mm-hmm. like look mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. Doofin Schmerz from uh, Phineas and Ferb Phineas you know and- Oh God damn! Like, come on, dude. That's an iconic <laughs> villain, okay? The relation, holy shit. No, but think about it. that's an iconic yeah, villain, he, okay? He, he like literally a... just does bad shit for doing bad shit. He's like, ha ha ha! I can do yeah, it. That's true. Shrinky Nator. Like the poster child of villain. <laughs> yeah, like, like, dude. Some the, people even, just want to watch nowadays, the world burn, as like, another uh, villain said. But even now, like, if you're saying nowadays, even Boku, like. 
All for one is just evil for the sake of being evil. He has no good purpose in him, right? No, but the thing is, all for one also is like this person who desperately wanted knowledge and wanted to elongate his life, and thus became evil in the pursuit of such. Th- so there's like a long winded explanation and justification for each villain's path to evil. He's still doing, yeah, yeah. He still knows he's doing bad shit. Yeah, like, oh, but, but then again, like, oh, yeah, I'm still doing yeah, but bad then, shit. Then again, yeah. I, I think Boku is forgiven because like Boku has a lot of uh, those stereotypes. So yeah, what you say does make sense. Boku does yeah, have like a evil yeah, yeah, villain. Yeah, yeah. But even mm-hmm. there, they're like you know, you heroes are trampling upon us. You know, non-hero people, non-quirk people, and that, that's what causes the friction also. And then other people get quirks mm-hmm. because of all for one, and then they they start revolting and all that. Like dude. Like Avatar d- had, like su- had Kora, such a good way. Season, basically. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Avatar, the last Airbender had such a good way to make the villain seem like a piece of shit, but making the people under the villain still seem like humans, you know? Like yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the Fire yeah, Nation well. itself was mm-hmm. not guilty. The Most of the citizens Bad. were ordinary yeah. people. The ruler and the army were what bizarre. took mm-hmm. joy in killing and uh, yeah. conquering. And, and like people love Zuko. You know, in the yeah, even though they they did show every side of Zuko actually yeah. throughout Avatar, so yeah. you have seen his Constant bad side, his good side, his thing. misunderstood okay, but, side, but and everything. Say, uh, you know, so. the last Airbender is unfair mm-hmm. to use as a comparison because it's, it's mm-hmm. like a masterpiece. Okay, that that's like uh, that that that, that yes. has like the best characters, you know, by a long shot. If I mean, compared last to last Airbender was anime. is a treat. Yeah, any time it's a treat to watch. Yeah. Don't get oh, me wrong, I'm not thing. hating on new age anime because it doesn't have a clear-cut villain. I appreciate good character development. But sometimes yeah, I just want thing. an evil guy, you know. I just want an evil guy. I see. <laughs> like that, that, that's the whole I, fantasy like, element mind, of uh, it, you know. Like I don't mind villains who are good though. Because I like the concept of not being evil and being like uh, just doing something different that you like you know basically i like the concept of different perspectives kind of yeah thing yeah i agree, I agree. it's it's a good mm-hmm. thing but then like it seems like first all the villains were just evil and then they became this shift into villains becoming more complex and now every villain is like insanely complex with like insane backstories and like insane uh, mm-hmm. uh ideologies mm-hmm. and philosophies like why can't we why can't we have a mix like you know dude some people can just be evil because they have the power to be evil you know, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like so that, that's what more a more realistic approach. Yeah, that, that's what gets your fantasy juices flowing. Like, look at something like uh, freaking. Okay, go and then take Konosuba, dude. Like Konosuba has the demon king, who's just, like you don't even know who the guy is. You just know that he's evil. And that, that's like a perfect <laughs> fantasy setting where it's like a simple story. You know, not too much complexity. Everyone will understand it. Everyone will like it. And you can add in whatever element you want the most. Like these guys added humor, but you can add something else. You can add like more fantasy elements to it. You can add magic or something like that. But then the more and more you uh, complicate your villains, the more and more. Uh, I mean, I again, I appreciate it, but I it just feel like there are also like simple stories added into the mix because some uh, maybe it's just nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I just want like Goku is the good guy, Frieza is the bad guy. Beat him up. Maybe it's just like nostalgia yeah. at the end of the day, but I just want to relive Maybe that. Maybe it is for you, yeah. Because I was thinking about it. Most manga I read now is like not shonen. I would say you know the kind of manga I like and read yeah. nowadays is very. It's not shonen. So for me, I'm like villain. The manga I read doesn't really have a villain. It's just like a story about this yeah. guy. <laughs> so I couldn't really think of anything. But yeah, I do because. Uh, like as a kid like you know when i when i first watched and read one piece like one piece was my favorite show of all time right like mm. i had the best experience reading it yeah. but then later on i had a better experience reading ippo ippo became like the best experience for me reading manga like it blew my freaking mind i absolutely love ippo right and i slowly started uh, drifting away from that 